Hey guys, so it's Esperanza again, and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial about going out. And today I'm going to a social, and I was like, hey, you know what? I haven't done makeup videos in a while. I've actually been feeling pretty inspired by Kathleen Lights. I've just recently discovered her, even though she's been on YouTube for a long time. And she's just so uplifting, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't done a video in forever, and I've only done one, and I really liked it, and I really wanted to do it again, and I just never got around to it. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial about going out. So we're going to start, well first I'm going to start off saying that I have already um, exfoliated my lips. Um, today I used, well this is the only thing I ever use, it is the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. Um, I think they're not too cheap but they are really worth it. I've already had this for I would say a few months and... Um, it's not more than $20, but it's not less than, I think, like, 8 It's between, like, 10 to, like, $18. I'm not sure. But they're really great, and they're pretty good, too. They taste good. They smell good. I love them. So I exfoliated my lips because I'm going to put on lipstick later, and I like to do that before. And I did put on some, um, chapstick, whatever, to make sure my lips don't get all dry. So first we're going to start off with Too Faced Insurance, or the Shadow Insurance because you need a primer eyelids and let's go I actually ran out of my Urban Decay um eh, eyeshadow primer because I used it so much and I loved it but this is pretty good too again I'm sick I feel like I always do these videos when I'm sick and it's funny because my voice sounds weird but yeah so my eyelids are all primed whatever Today, we're going to be using the Lorac Gold Unzipped um, Eyeshadow Palette. And I actually bought this a few months ago, maybe just two or three months ago, and I actually really like it. Um, the pigments are very nice. It's super shiny. All of them are very good. And I actually, with these, sometimes I have to use my finger instead because the brush won't lift it as well. I'm sure if you used a wet brush or use some kind of like mist on it, it would work better. But I like using my eyelid, my, I like using my finger and put on my eyelid. It works just fine all the same. Um, but yeah, they do need some time to work with, but they end up looking really good. And they're really nice for when you want to go out. They make your lids very stand out. So it's going to be a bold eye and kind of like a nude lip today, I would say. The brushes I'm going to use today are going to be, actually bought new brushes, yay! Um, a few, like just a week or two ago. And I really like them. They are, I don't, I already told you I don't go super um, crazy about brushes. But um, I do know when I need new brushes and I've had my old brushes for a while. So I bought these from Target. They're the Sonia, Sonia Kasha brand again. I really like them. They're totally not expensive. I bought a pack. These are three that came with them. And then there is also a, a double-ended. There's a spoolie on one side and then there's also um, an angled brush so you can use it for your... I use it for my eyebrows. But there's another brush too. I don't have it right now. It's over there. But um... It's a smaller eyeshadow brush. It was a really nice um, set. It was $20 just for five brushes, and this one was double-ended. So I liked it. It works pretty well. No complaints on my end. But yes, yeah, so we're going to start out wearing, um, or we're going to start with the creases. And I'm going to use a the bigger brush, the big little blending brush. So I'm going to go in with the color Undeniable right here. I'm going to pat a little bit on my brush, not too much, because it is pretty pigmented. And then I'm going to go in on my creases. So there you have it. I have put that in my crease on both sides. And now I'm going to go in with my my flatter brush to pick up for my eyelid and today well for the crease for like a canvas I would say so that I did put primer on but I don't have a very light canvas and I want today to kind of pop so I'm going out later so I'm going to use undressed over here it's a very good base for your eyelid so you can pat on more on top of it and this one is actually pretty good when it comes to the brush it'll stay on it's more of the glittery ones that need to be used with a wet brush or with your finger so let's go
Then I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush and just blend out the edges a little bit. Okay. And with the same brush that I just used, not the blending one, the flat one, I'm going to go in with... I'm going to show you the difference between using it with your finger and with the brush. So with the brush, I'm going to go in with... I would say I'm going to use a very deep gold today. So the color Unleashed. It's a very, very pretty gold. So I'm going to go in with my brush. And you have to kind of tap it away so it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm going to put it on my lid in a corner and out. And you see how kind of patchy it is? It's not super patchy, but it is a little patchy. But going in with my finger, I'm going to rub it around a little bit. And I'm going to pat it onto my other eyelid to show you the difference. I got a little bit underneath my eye, but I can fix that. Um, but I don't know if you can see in the camera, but in real life, it does look pretty different. And so I want to go again and fix it on my other eye with a little finger. So it did get a little bit in my inner corners, but I want to add a more um, highlight to the inside of my corner. So I'm going to use Inhibited over here. And put a little bit on my brush. That one gets picked up a lot better than the other one. And that's in my inner corner. And now I'm going to go back to the crease to add some more depth. To it. So I'm going to go in with this darker color called Unedited over here. I'm going to go in with my smaller blending brush because if you used a bigger one it would just go everywhere and that's not what you want. You want it to be more precise. So tap a little bit. You don't want to put too much. And then I'm going to go in again with the bigger brush to blend it all together. Okay, and then I'm going to go in again with my flat brush over here and put a bit of a highlight on my brow bone with the same one I was using earlier for my inner corner. Inhibit it again. So then, I'm going to blend it out just a little bit more. Alright. Now we are done with the eyeshadow portion. Now we're going to go in with eyeliner. I'm going to put my usual wing at the end, just the whole eye. Then I'm using the tattoo liner from Kat Von D as well. My favorite eyeliner ever. I recently ran out of the limited edition one I had, but it had a good run. It was about two years old, so made the most of it. But yeah, now I'm using this one. And I also recently just bought the Stella one, but I have not used it. But I have not used it. 
<laughs> I have not used it yet because I still have this one. Wow, it was mad at me for buying a different brand. I actually wanted to buy the Kat Von D one again, but I had an Ulta gift card and I'm very broke. So I was like, you know what? Ulta doesn't have Kat Von D, but I heard still is like a very close same to the same kind of thing. So I had to do what I had to do. So I did my eyeliner. This is gonna be dry for a while now. Next, going in with mascara. I actually stopped using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara recently. It's just not something I reach for, but it is something when I'm feeling kind of bored and I'm just like, what am I gonna use today? I'm like, well, I haven't used that. So I use it sometimes, but then I remember why I don't use it anymore. It just holds down my lashes so much. My It doesn't hold my curl. I don't know why if you have a solution for that can you tell me in the comments below because I feel like other mascaras have a very good job of holding my curl and Too Faced better than sex mascara just doesn't but yeah I'm gonna be using two today but right now I'm gonna cut my eyelashes the mascaras I'm gonna use today I'm actually using two one is the one from Mexico I still cannot get enough of it it's a different kind of formula I'm guessing it smells different than the other one I used in the leather video but it does the same work um it's the mommy mommy or it's not even mommy anymore it's by Apple it's from Mexico super lush mascara Ho jojoba 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 I'm guessing I don't know but first I'm gonna go in with I actually just discovered this Clinique Chubby Lash. I love it. The brush is a little weird, but that's what I like about it. It's very thin. I'll show you right now. It's very thin, but it allows you to get everywhere you need to go and reach every lash. It works very close to this one, and it's not even that expensive. I think when I went to I had actually got this as a um in a package from Sephora. Um I had enough points and I, there was a Clinique Clinique package that they had and I was like you know what I have all these points nothing else seems to be what I want and I had a brief I just didn't want anything else and I was like you know what? I'll try this and I actually really love it and when I went to Ulta the other day I saw they sell them separately and I think they're only like six or seven dollars and they work really good so it's like the price of a drugstore mascara even cheaper and it works really nice so I put this on first and then I put this over it because this just holds better and um, it's waterproof. This one isn't, so I just add a more layer to it so it stays on longer. This is also really good for under your ashes. Ashes for under your eyelashes, your bottom eyelashes. And I'm gonna go in with my second one. This is, I love my eyelashes I like making them look huge I like ugh. if I could only live with one makeup um accessory my whole life one makeup whatever I would have to pick mascara I just mascara and eyelash color if I could just wear that every day forever if that was my only choice I wouldn't mind Okay, so now I'm done with the whole eye makeup. I'm going to go do my eyebrows later at the end. Um, next, it's going to be foundation and concealer. So guys, in the summer I worked um, outside the whole time. Um, I worked for a boating company that has tour boats and everything. So as a greeter, I stood outside all day. Eight hour shifts, 
even longer, sometimes a little shorter, and basically I got so tan that my original color for the Kat Von D was a medium 52, over right here, and by the end of the summer I was a medium 62. So right now I'm kind of stuck with the, this weird tan that's not really a tan but it's a tan because it's darker than my normal skin but it's already December and I still have leftovers of this tan from the summer so I mix them together because I'm not gonna go buy a new foundation squirt a squirt of that now this one ugh. I dropped my mirror okay I just put it right here whatever um it's been on my hand for a while and I hope it isn't okay so it's kind of a little too light for me the sun's coming oh my god um so I put a little bit just a little in there and I mix it with my finger and I put it on my face now I just go and put it all up on my face okay so now I'm gonna go blend it out Okay, so I blended out my foundation. Um, I think maybe because it's winter, my skin has been pretty dry. And this foundation kind of makes it look more dry. So I kind of know now that I really should go get a new foundation because this one is not working how I want it to work with my face. Check on that. Now I'm going to go with my concealer, my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I used to be color 20 normally in the winter. Now I'm at 25 because of that tan I have that will go away. So, let me go on in like that. So now I'm qu quickly gonna set this with my Kat Von D pressed powder foundation in the color translucent. So I dip my beauty blender. Which is not beauty blender, but you know what I mean. My makeup sponge. This is a Real Techniques makeup sponge. I just like to set this first because it's gonna be. Ooh, there's a rip in there now. I like to set this first because my eyes crease a lot and I hate it. Now I'm going to go again, I'm going to put this, and here, and a little bit down here. So now I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I go in with the middle one because this one seems to be a little too light sometimes. I use this one more for like my forehead and my down here. But for I want my contour, I use the middle one, which is called Shadow Play. Alright, this is from a Sephora gift set that... I don't remember the name of it, but it's a charcoal pencil or charcoal brush. I'm gonna tap it a little bit, get rid of the excess. And then when you contour, you start from the end of your cheek because if you start from here, you don't want it to be the darkest here and then the light over here. It's better to play safe and just start from the back. And then you kind of just go forward and spread it. Voila. 
And then I'm gonna go take this one, which is called subconscious. Put it around my forehead. And then the bottom of your chin. So with the same set, I had a concealer brush given to me. I use it sometimes for concealer and sometimes I use it just to contour my nose a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the middle shade right here. Just a little bit. And contour my nose. And that's that. So now I'm going to set the rest of my concealer, which I should have done a little while ago, I just forgot. I always like to make this pretty soft because I don't want it to be hard lines. I want it to be a very gradient transition between the contour and the rest of my cheek. Now for one of the last sections, I'm going to use my Anastasia Pomade Dip Brow in medium brown so i'm using a spoolie first and just comb out my eyebrows i'm gonna take the other side of this and just dip it in there a little bit i like to start from the outsides first I just like to fill them in a little bit. I don't like them to be completely solid. I do have a really weird eyebrow hair right there. I don't know why. I need to get more gel liner or gel eyebrow gel. But I kind of just fill in a little bit over here. So that it's less visible. That's how I did my eyebrows. So we're almost done. Just the highlight now. Oh, my lipstick. I actually bought a different highlighter, guys. I bought the Anastasia Glow Kit in, I think, Sun Dipped. So, I really like it. So my favorite one has been Moonstone, maybe because it's more like skin toned. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with my It brush. I don't know what name of it it is. It's the It brush though, and it's the fan one. So I'm gonna slather it up all up in there. I don't want it to be super highlighted, but it's gonna end up being a little bit highlighted. So. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit more on the other side. Put a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the lip. This is ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper. I love this color. I just got it and I love it. The sun's coming out. Where it's going down actually. So yeah, this is how my going out at night look looks sometimes. Sometimes it looks different, but yeah, this is one look you guys could use. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, let me know in my comment section and I will gladly keep up to it. Thank you!